hello everyone welcome to yarpedia education so this video is related to what are the strategies one shall opt for descriptive or mains exam preparation of like this you know examiner of patents and design which is a group a gazetted position so as you all are aware they are going to conduct mains exam at the second stage and in the second paper you have descriptive paper and the syllabus for which is entirely your technical domain syllabus which all topic you people have covered either in gate exam or either in esc preparation so there will be 300 marks paper and duration is 3 hours so they have categorized that descriptive paper as per the exam which was held last time in 2018 i guess they give four section and in each section they give part a and b and the sections weightage was different different for a different for b different for c different for d and all the questions were compulsory so the very first thing is there is no negative marking are you from mechanical engineering you're from electrical electronics and computer science but the very key point one should focus while writing the answer you need to write the answer very neat and clean and you cannot avoid the various subsequent steps you cannot jump directly to the conclusions so like this way you will get penalized and they will also reduce the mark and they will deduct the mark and if whatever answer you are writing that is not clearly visible you are not writing in very good way then also there can be deduction of the marks so the scoring pattern is almost identical as that of the esc if you are you know successful to achieve the final result and your answer is correct then you will be getting the maximum marks which were decided for that particular question see when you are preparing for the subjective exam descriptive exam the only difference is we don't have the habit of writing detailed solution see even if we are solving the objective question also we need to solve the entire question 70 percent of the times to reach the solution but there we skip some steps which we know okay we don't execute them but in conventional paper you cannot do that you need to mention and write each and every subsequent following step so only then you will be getting the maximum marks the very fundamental strategy is practice 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 the art of writing descriptive solution now there are 10 to 12 or 13 subject in each engineering domain if you even practice 100 question of one subject they total sum up around 1200 to 1300 so like this the very first mistake student commit they start doing the practice of the random question no don't practice those thousand twelve hundred random question do one thing yesterday i have told you in each subject you have for different engineering standard author book you take any of the exam you take the upsc men's exam you take the upsc esc exam you take the any of the conventional subjective or men's exam which is held for the engineering or technical position they are most of the time the descriptive questions or the men's question are straight away taken from the textbook solved example so the very first point don't go behind the random resources from the google or whatever you have at the last time in the very short span of the time whatever effort you are putting in the practice put in that direction from where at least you can expect the question in the final exam yesterday i shared one paper for eze similarly mechanical electrical computer science it was done there i have found almost four to five questions were straight away taken from the textbook two questions were straight away taken from the microelectronics by sadra and smith so if you have practiced those questions during your practice days then definitely you will be in the better position to portray to write the descriptive answer for those as compared to other candidate and second thing is guys very important yes calculator last time was allowed but only for descriptive exam 
ओके नॉट फॉर योर ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम और नॉट फॉर योर स्क्रीनिंग प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जाम फॉर मेंस डिस्क्रिप्टिव एग्जाम वेयर टेक्निकल सिलेबस इज इंक्लूडेड फॉर दैट कैलकुलेटर इज अलाउड यू विल बी गेटिंग दैट लग्जरी सो नाउ थ्री पॉइंट कम्स इन टू माइंड द वेरी फर्स्ट द आर्ट ऑफ राइटिंग यूनिट टू प्रैक्टिस एंड सेकेंड थिंग द वेरी गुड थिंग इज यू नो द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यू हैव थ्री आवर्स विच इज मोर देन इनफ टाइम बट एट द सेम टाइम इफ यू डोंट प्रैक्टिस ड्यूरिंग योर प्रैक्टिस डेज हाउ टू राइट द सोल्यूशन फॉर एट टू टेन और ट्वेल्व गुड लेंथी क्वेश्चन विद इन थ्री आवर देन इन फाइनल एग्जाम इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू राइट ऑल द क्वेश्चन विद इन द स्पेसिफाइड टाइम so whenever you are practicing whenever you doing the rehearsal of descriptive exam make a proper schedule take a time for 3 hours sit continuously and then practice 10 to 12 questions start writing 10 to 12 questions from beginning to end likewise if you start doing this you will be tailor made for the final day of exam and the very important concluding point is guys what i have seen in the previous year exam structure there were very rarely the theoretical question asked the derivation asked most of the questions were numerical if most of the questions are numerical then i believe they are not going to consume that much time because mostly the time is consumed where you need to explain principle definition constructional application interpretation when these kind of question are asked there is the investment of time if you are having the only question containing the numerical questions then if you believe the logic concept i believe in within very short span of the time if you have practiced the art of practicing the question within the specified time by taking a multiple session for sitting long 3 hours while doing the practice then in final exam i am sure you will do good and you can maximize your selection chances for the next stage so your pedia education is a launching module where we will be discussing with you people how to solve and how to practice whatever i told as of now here that in each and every class and we will make you people tailor made or prepared well mannered way for the final exam that is the mains and descriptive exam so we are launching the separate module only for the descriptive exam so if you are willing to join only the descriptive exam technical module you can connect our executive and you can put down comment in the section so we wish you all the best this is just a brief or trailer of the strategies and stories rest all we will be discussing in the session and all thanks a lot